energy. Work. When a force acts on a body, it enables the body to move. When we move a body or carry any object, we have to apply a force. In general, we can say that we have done some work. When we play or we carry school bag or we go for a walk, then we are doing some physical work. When we read, write or do work on a computer, we can say we are doing mental work. However, mental work is not recognized as work in physics, though it also needs energy. In physics, work is said to be done when an applied force moves the body through a distance or displacement. Nature of work Work done can be positive, negative or zero. 1. Positive work done Work done is positive when a force acts along the direction of motion of the body. Examples When a rickshaw puller pedals the rickshaw, it moves forward. Work is said to be done. When a door is pushed, it opens and moves forward slightly. Work is said to be done. Some other examples where mechanical work is done are When we move a land war in a lawn When we kick a football When a horse pulls a cart When we climb a staircase, etc. In all these examples, displacement of the object takes place along the direction of force. Hence, positive work is done. 2. Negative work done Work done can be negative when a force acts opposite to the direction of motion of the body. Example, work done by the force of friction is negative. 3. Zero work done When a force is applied on a heavy object and it does not move, we can say that no work is done. Example, a boy is applying force on a big log of wood but it does not move, we can say that work done is zero. Thus, the amount of work done depends upon the following. 1. Force applied on the object. 2. Distance moved. Displacement. Work. Force applied into displacement. F into D. Thus, work is the product of force and displacement. Do you know? Bees obey the first law of thermodynamics. The total of the heat energy they produce and the work they do is equal to the amount of energy they take in form of food. Measuring work Consider the following two cases to understand how work is measured. Case 1 Suppose a person A pushes a wooden box to a distance of 10 meters. Another person B pushes the same box to a distance of 20 meters. Which person has done more work? Person B has done more work as the box covered more distance. This shows that work done depends on the distance moved by the body. Case 2 Suppose a person C pushes a box 20 kilograms to a distance of 10 meters. Another person D pushes a bigger box 40 kilograms through the same distance. In this case, person D has done more work than person C because he has to apply more force in displacing a heavier object. This shows that work done depends upon the magnitude of force applied. Unit of work the unit of work done can be obtained by multiplying the units of force and displacement. In SI system, it can be given as work is equal to F into D is equal to Newton into meter. This product is called Joule, named after the scientist J.P. Joule. When a force of 1 Newton moves a body through a distance of 1 meter, then the work done is said to be 1 Joule. 1 Joule is equal to 1 Newton meter. The larger unit of work done is kilojoules. 1 kilojoule is equal to 1000 joules. Fact A television consumes around 
120 watts of electric power while an average human being uses around 400 watts to run introduction energy is needed in all steps of life it is required for operating machines for transport for lighting our homes cooking food and for leisure pleasure it is difficult to think of an activity without energy to meet our requirement of energy we use fuel and electricity let us try to find out the primary source of energy and no more about energy